Good afternoon, Goranges, uh, we're back as ever. Uh, lockdown might be upon us, but we have an online only sale for you. So um, we're able to sell online and we're able for things to be collected and to be shipped out. Uh, and we have a warehouse full of goods, so why not? Let's have an auction, but it's gonna be online for a bit longer so that people have more time to view and ask questions and the like. Um, so we'll be selling on the 16th of November and we'll do a slightly longer video to sort of show what's going on um, for the same reason that there won't be any open public viewing. So we start with lot one, look at these rather lovely big weathered garden urns. Um, rather tatty looking uh, vegetation within them, but those are quite nicely weathered. They're lot one, um, haven't got an estimate for those as yet. It will be on the website, so just go and have a look and everything will be estimated there. So going down the line, there's a lot of furniture in the sale. There's about 180 lots of furniture. And these are not in there, and they're not coming out for sale, and we wouldn't be offering that sort of thing. But uh, pretty much everything else is. Um, so, some nice carpets. Not, nothing, well, some, some big gopping great ones, actually, that you, you'll see in the sort of roundabout lot 7, 8, that sort of area. But some nice small rugs here. Uh, this is nice quality. It's Victorian. It's a figured walnut centre table. Not the most fashionable things these days. God, someone's making a racket out there. <laughs> they're trying to get a dirty great wardrobe into a van that's too small for it and uh, wondering why they can't. It's, um, it's quite a thing, maybe we should be videoing that in a sort of what not to do instruction film. But anyway, uh, it needs a bit of work. There's some moulding missing, Look, bits like that off the edge are missing. And it was in a sort of rather neglected warehouse, not our neglected warehouse, but somebody else's. Um, it got a bit damp and what have you, but nice looking table that, lot 85. Clambers, clambers past uh, other things in the way. This is fun, this is a sort of nice, I'd say early 19th century kind of estate um, keeper's bookcase with uh, four of these sort of doors, adjustable shelves, quite nice and shallow, not too deep. The two drawers and then um, a big slide. Uh, recess, more doors, you know, not a bad thing that. That's lot 50, colours slightly different. Uh, this would have been good, but it's not as old as it wants to be. This is a, a walnut bureau bookcase in the manner of being, you know, early 18th century. When you see a well like that, you expect it to be 1730, 1740 or, or so. But this one, I suspect, was based on something old, but it's all been re-veneered in walnut some years ago. Um, now needs a bit of TLC that the fall is coming away, but it's all broadly there. Um, and uh, won't have a huge estimate on it. That's lot 53, if you like your walnut. We've got Victorian beds. We have uh, long case clocks from bed Ford. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that connection. I couldn't plan it, could I? Lot 59. Uh, we don't have haberdashers cupboards this time, but we will have them coming up in, uh, in a couple of, in a sale after that. Going back down this way, what else can I see? Lots of chairs, legs in the air, chair seat. Lot 82, look at this, Edwardian. Mahogany dining chairs in the sort of heffle white manner. Solid chairs, those. Nice, elegant, slender little delicate back uh, slats. But what are they going to make? Maybe £100 or so? No money, really. Bargain. Over the back, some nice Victorian upholstered furniture. There's some trunks and coffers down the end there. Coming back this way, this is a bit different. This dirty great armoire, which has been uh, nicely painted with the birdies on the branches and rabbits and fish and things. So uh, these open out to show that the shelves are not fitted for at the moment. There we are, look at that, beautiful. Blue inside. Unusually, these lift up. So you can sort of put your, I don't know, children in there or something. Um, and then base drawers at the bottom, all painted up to look a little bit sort of weathered. Uh, slightly loppy in the drawers there. That's lot 157. We've got things like ball, ball work card tables there. Sofa tables, this is not in the cell, but it is in the way, sorry about that. Over the back, that's quite a nice little chest of drawers there, all not one. Leather line top, brushing slides, sort of in the manner of the early 18th century, but looks to be adaptive again, so much is these days. And, um, well, not at all fashionable, but lovely condition. Look at this, big Pembroke table, a nice leg, I like that. The fluting and the ring turning, brass caster, drawer, Boxwood stringing, lovely, shiny, shiny new condition. Um, lot number, it's lot number 125. Fancy one of those. You couldn't go too far wrong with that one. 
and the other thing, so this is nice, what, 122, nice clean, legs have got a bit of scuffing, but so would you if you were 200 years old, and um, yeah, drawers run smoothly, a little bit of cock beading missing there, but lot 122, dressing table, side table, maybe serving table, here, lot 119, nice little work table here with the folding top, base there, little drawer there, not fitted, in fact, drawers to each side, so I guess you could sort of... Put your chest sets on each side or what have you. Again, these nice ring turn legs from sort of 1800, 1820, that sort of date. Lot 119, won't be in it huge money. So, a host of, of uh, wonderful furniture for you to look at. We can get this delivered to you. There are carriers still running, um, or you can come and collect it if you buy. Otherwise, if not, we'll look after it in the warehouse until um, we're all allowed out doing more normal things. We'll pop over the main room now and see what else is in store for us. So suddenly I appeared in the main cell room. Good lot of art, well, reasonably good lot of art. In amongst it, this um, Harvey Daniels. Two of these big Harvey Daniels watercolours are in the cell. This is lot 619. It's called Green Circle. It's an original watercolour, not a print. He did produce a lot of prints in his time. Um, so, and that's in, I think, at two to three hundred pounds. There's another one floating about somewhere else. Otherwise, decorative prints, various oil paintings in the cell, some portraits. We've got things like this sort of resin bronze bust that is by Sally Mitchell or Susan Mitchell. Uh, I think that's just in at a couple of hundred pounds or so. Uh, a few bits of furniture floating around like this sort of smart George III mahogany chest on chest. Nice colour, good finish, few little bits of cock beading missing. That's lot 182. There's a, a reconstituted marble bench here. Um, with some sort of glazed top, like 180, something for the garden. Garden stuff can look quite good indoors, actually, if you get the sort of juxtaposition right. Other furniture scattered about, some Colbrookdale style benches. They are cast iron, they weigh a ton. This nice wainscot chair. Uh, we think the carving might be right. We're not so sure about the whole chair overall. I think there's some later and some adaptions and some other bits and pieces, but that is like 172. Otherwise, remember the victory, HMS Victory here, this uh, fair size scratch built model. Uh, that's lot 421, it's in at three to five hundred pounds. Big old display case with it. And then out the back, well, as ever, what don't we have? We have modern decorative elephant jardinier stands, sadly. We have um, Inner services, quite a two or three in the lot. This is Royal Dalton Roselle pattern, loads of it. It won't be any big money, that's lot 407. To go with it, some rather nice glassware. He looks underneath, searching for a signature, and it is signed. And it does say Waterford, look at that, lovely, a lot of it. Reasonable size for the wines, you'd have to top up. Not bad tumblers, nice pattern that. That is lot number 400. Then, further down, more glassware. Dalton character jugs. Gosh, these used to make money back in the day, but not very often these days. That's why there's so many in one big lot. We have um, other ceramics. We have Tom Greenshield's limited edition hand-finished sculptures, lot 442. Uh, in addition, that, I quite, that's nice. I like that. It's got a bit more character to it. Look at that. A nice little sampler there. We like these Georgian figures. We like Adam and Eve there. It's almost like they've got nudists in the garden. And uh, yeah, that's a nice thing, what three, four. I like that. Condition's not bad. The colours are quite strong. So there we go. Nice little nudist sampler. Got three, eight, four. Over here, passing by. Look at this. It's bronze stag's head. Isn't that rather special. It's only curling in very dramatic antlers. That's got four, fifty, four. In at three to five hundred. I look across the back here, and um, things like Royal Crown Derby. Wait, it's always quite popular, a bit of a chess set there, there's some wine, um, mixed lots of wine. Look at that, now I'm assured we didn't break it to fit in with the, uh, oh dear, that's crumbly isn't it, look at that, it's, it's a moving dish, but nice little restoration project for somebody, these um, 18th century Chinese blue and white dishes, they'll, they'll do alright, just wait and see, lot 3, 4, 8, they'll, someone will buy them and get the super clue out and what have you. Round the corner, few books. We've got a book sale coming up on the 30th. Be ready. The good book sale, that's some, some interesting things in for it. 
There's some mixed lots of sort of unframed artwork in this, uh, quite a few lots by, uh, so it looks like they were illustrator's work. Um, you'll see those scattered throughout. That's lot 556. Five, at the back here, Roger has been hammering out the silver again. Where he mines it from, I do not know, but here we are. Look, all sorts of uh, silverware, tea sets, salvers, flatware. A lot of uh, labels there. Here we are, all of these. Um, you're supposed to be looking at them, not me, but I can't tell you what they are unless I do. Um, yeah, these are George. No, they're not. Oh, I'll tell a lie. No, they're, they're um, modern copies in the style of about 1800. That's lot 724. Still nice in the fitted case. Um, so, yeah, a good mixture of silver. I mean, look at that. Blooming great Armada dish. That's lot 738. Nice big lump there. Further down, we've got some medals. We've got things like the classic sort of... Uh, that is the Queen South Africa medal. Nice little run of clasps upon it. Lot 483. We've got Britain's toys. We've got jewellery again. Jewellery's flying out the door. It's making so much money. And mostly it's the online bidders who end up with it. Particularly catching my eye, I always like these. These George Jensen brooches. Um, one sees... Th these are a bit different, actually. The deer and the dolphins. They're, they're not the common models. So that's nice. There's a cockerel over there. We've got various diamond set rings. Nice detailed descriptions from Roger on the system. So uh, have a look at those. Good run of jewellery. What else can I find? There's card cases. There's Chinese bits. Uh, there's tea, child's tea set with um, Pluto upon it. And uh, Mickey Mouse and the like. Some miniature teddy bears. Across the back here. Parian figures up the top. Etch glasses at the middle. And um, chitty chitty bang bang lower down. You couldn't make it up. We've got it all. We've got this rather splendid lot 451. Look at that Dunhill, um, classic Dunhill lighter with a watch. Not an old one. It's it's a it's a very modern new one in in really nice clean condition with its original box. I think that's in at quite a bit of money. I think it's in about seven eight hundred pounds. But go find another one, as they say. Uh, more jewellery and watches as I pass by. Some diamond set rings, um, a, what does that say? A 0.29 carat Benetwat. Wow, get many of those to the pound. Uh, there's other watches in here. Look at that funky dial there on lot. Um, I'm showing that it looks continental to me, that one. And that is lot 841. Uh, all described fully on the website as ever. Uh, and then further down, again, more ceramics, more pictures, glassware. It's guitars, signs about the Tour de France, there we go, no parking, you'll get your car towed away, cycling interest we should say for that one, there we go, be a lot of cyclists out on the road these days, so there we go, it's all, all manner of wonderful things, uh, we've tried to do a lot of condition reports, so most things should be already done, but if you want more detail or want us to have another look, just drop us an email. Skeleton crew is operating out of the cell room, uh, just dealing with collections essentially, but we'll do the odd condition report if necessary. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you. And then the sale, as I said, 16th of November, so it's going to be online for um, just over a week. And uh, that'll be great fun. We'll, we'll all be up and selling, David and I, on the 16th. Thank you.